Here is our next matchup, Luis Ortiz, Travis My Time Coffin. Ortiz and Coffin going head to head. That is our next matchup here at Staples Center. Luis Ortiz coming off the one-sided destruction of Rosman Kajanu back in the second round, July 28th. Travis Kaufman with the victory June 10 over Scott Alexander. And here is the man known as King Kong, the Cuban national standout. He states that Anthony Joshua is avoiding him. I give props to Deontay Wilder for not I pick Wilder over Fury, but I'm going to handle business against Travis Kaufman. It's the 39-year-old in Luis King Kong Ortiz. There is Luis Ortiz, who was Pretty dismissive of Travis Kaufman has to say, you can do all the talking in the world that you want, but we're gonna have to meet eventually. Ortiz, who is looking to make a statement tonight against Travis Kaufman. He knows he needs this victory. But there's the man known as Mai Tai, representing the 6-1-0, Reading, Pennsylvania. King Kong Ortiz, extremely focused, determined, and realizing that this, at his stage of his career, he needs this victory to continue to clamor for a rematch against Deontay Wilder. King Kong. Ortiz and Travis Kaufman getting set for this matchup here. Travis Kaufman wants to go ahead and be the boogeyman of the division. Well, he's got a first upset, Luis Ortiz.
So that is how it all breaks down. Luis Ortiz, Travis Kaufman. Kaufman has been chastising Luis Ortiz and saying that he is going to be upset that he, it is his time, it's his moment. So it is Ortiz and Kaufman that are going to square off here in our next matchup as the heavyweights continue to get center stage at Staples Center. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, Luis Ortiz and Travis Kaufman. Ladies and gentlemen, from Staples Center here in Los Angeles, we continue our action as Premier Boxing Champions presents our next heavyweight attraction. It is brought to you by Bomb Squad Enterprises, Queensbury Promotions, and TGB Promotions in association with Dabella Entertainment and Showtime. Sponsored by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach and Casa Noble Tequila, the noble pursuit and seen across the UK on BT Sport box office. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside. From Villa Park, California, we have Max DeLuca. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, Esther Lopez. And from Los Angeles, Zachary Young. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Thomas Taylor. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with blue trim, joining us from Reading, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 229 pounds with a record of 32 wins, two losses, and one no decision. He has 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Travis, my time, Kaufman. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim. He is fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Kamahuay, Cuba. He weighed in at 241 pounds. His record stands at 29 wins, one loss, two no decisions with 25 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former interim title holder and the world title challenger, currently ranked the WBC number two contender. Please welcome the hard hitting Luis King Kong Ortiz. Once again, here's our referee in charge, Thomas Taylor. All right, belt line is good here, belt line is good here. They gave your instructions in the back, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them up, back to your corner. So Luis Ortiz and Travis Kaufman. That's what we did, smart. Ortiz wearing the white with the blue, wearing the red and the blue, is Travis Kaufman. Ready, you ready? We are underway. 
Ortiz is a southpaw. Kaufman is conventional. Ten rounds or less here in the heavyweight division. Watch the feet, gentlemen. Starting off slow as a couple of jabs only for Ortiz. Kaufman is very durable, has been in there against Chris Adeola. That was back in December of 2015. That fight was changed to a no decision due to a straight left hand that connected by Ortiz as Kaufman doubled over. as Ortiz was lunging in. Guys, watch those feet. Jab to the midsection by Ortiz. Straight left by Ortiz. Ortiz measuring Travis Coffin. Steps inside with the jab. <laughs> Filling out process thus far between Ortiz and Coffin. Kaufman hasn't thrown anything of validity. Only a few jabs followed by a straight left hand from Ortiz in the opening stanza. Ortiz looking for that opening. A big straight left hand. Ortiz. Nice right hook to the body by Luis Ortiz. Coming up on the final moments of the first round. On one is in the book. For 10. Come on, guys. Referee in charge, Go. Thomas Taylor. Ortiz starting off strong, looking to throw a straight left hand. Pumping the jab is Luis Ortiz. Kaufman now has gone to southpaw. He's okay, he's ambidextrous, so he could fight either hand. But Kaufman didn't do anything in that first round. Steps up with a check right hook. A double right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz, 39 years of age from Cabagay, Cuba. Now residing in Miami, training under Herman Casado. The third fight this year for Ortiz. 
Ortiz had a fight last December, won by second round knockout, lost to Deontay Wilder in March. And then followed up a straight left hand that connected by Ortiz. And now Ortiz has Kaufman with his back against the ropes. That's a position that Kaufman does not want to be in. He needs to avoid that in order to have any type of success here in the fight. Kaufman throwing a straight left hand and it connected. And Luis Ortiz says, come on, I like this. I want more. Just over the midway mark of the second. right hook that connected by Luis Ortiz. to lure or lull Ortiz to sleep or wait for him to tire out, but Kaufman's got to start to do something because he isn't throwing even, even a jab for that matter. Now he throws a right hand to the abdomen of Ortiz. Ortiz is the one who's been the aggressor, who's been pushing the pace, jabbing, trying to land that big power shot. Stop, 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 Straight stop. left, right below the belt, Thomas Taylor, is going to pause the action. And the fans are not too fond and think that Kaufman, much like we see in Hollywood, is overacting. Kaufman. Kaufman. 
Griffin stayed in the pocket too long. He got lit up with the right hook, right on the jaw. Ortiz smiling. He knows that he hurt Kaufman, but a nice display of sportsmanship between the two. But again, Kaufman has tasted the power of Chris Ariola. I know that they may be different. Kaufman seems to not be, he seems to be off balance. Keep that investment on. You know what I mean? You're, you're doing beautiful. Your hands up, and you're trying to change those levels. You're going to need that. When you walk them off, give them those things. But you got to come. You got to come and show that shot straight hand, right hand. And here is the low blow as our crew goes ahead. Come get in roll Oh, yeah, that was well below the belt. Well, as long as you're not in front of him, as long as you're not in front of him. Oh, yeah, well My goodness, that was very low. That was uh, as low as you can get. As we see a look at it again, I understand why Kaufman was doubled over because it was a delayed reaction. You know, there are times where you get blasted right there and you have this delayed reaction. Let's go. And I understand why. Guys, watch the feet. So fourth round, Luis Ortiz, Travis Kaufman. Thrilled to be with all of you here, ringside in Los Angeles. Still to come, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World is on the line. Straight left by Ortiz. Kaufman looks away at his corner. says, come on, let's fight. Bring the fight to me, but the fans are not too happy about that. Ortiz says, you want to fight? Let's do this. Come on. Kaufman baited in potentially the wrong man because you do not want to upset Luis Ortiz. The only man who's been able to do it and get away with it is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. 100 seconds here in the fourth. Straight left hand right in the midsection of Kaufman. Kaufman isn't doing anything of significance.
Small piece. Five. Yeah. Round number five. This one's scheduled for ten. Ortiz and Kaufman. connected by Ortiz. The jab followed by the right hand as Luis Ortiz throwing the jab out. Coffin with the straight left. He's got a high guard. Ortiz is waiting to land that big shot. Big right hand, a big straight left that connected by Travis Coffin. Straight left, right on the midsection. Ortiz, nice right hook. That found its mark, an uppercut. Look at this work by Luis Ortiz. Again, Ortiz is trying to tear up the body. Of Travis Kaufman, measuring big straight left hand, that found its mark. Final 35 seconds of the fifth. Kaufman coming forward. Still not doing anything of validity. Ortiz pumping 
caught that jab. survive for the next 215. He is in a heap of trouble. Big straight left by Ortiz. Ortiz with a knockdown to Coffin in the six, but Coffin was able to beat the count. Ninety seconds remaining here in the sixth. A right hook that connected by Ortiz. Ortiz and Travis Kaufman still to come. Jared Hurt, Jason Wellborn, also Deontay Wilder. And a Tyson Fury will go head to head for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. straight left hands down the center. It has been the Luis Ortiz show and not once has Kaufman hasn't had much sustained offense at all. the end of the sixth. So here we see it attendance. The fans are cheering because Evander Holyfield is in the house ringside. And let's take a look at some of the action. There's that big straight left hand, and that's what put Kaufman on the canvas. He immediately crumpled to the canvas. My goodness. And Ortiz is watching him like he hit a walk-off homer. Ortiz went to the corner. Let's take a look at it again as we zero in. There's that straight left. Boom! Right there on the chin. He crumpled over to Kaufman. He hit the deck immediately. Round seven, this one's scheduled for 10. Ray Flores ringside here in Los Angeles for this big night of action. Luis Ortiz with the knockdown. Travis Kaufman knows he has to do significant work, otherwise he's going to lose a 10-round decision. So at this moment, he's got to really start to pick up the pace and get to work. Ortiz, the Cuban defector, a part of the Cuban national team, also fellow Cuban, Edis Landi Lada, who's in, who's here at Staples Center. He's the former 154-pound champion. Lada will be focused on Jared Hurd's title defense against Jason Wellborn in our co-main event coming up next. And look at the double right hook upstairs for Travis Kaufman, or for Luis Ortiz against Travis Kaufman. If 
you're Nazim Richardson, you got to be telling Kaufman, look, this is your moment at this stage. you got to do something now or you're going to regret it the rest of your life. Kaufman is the father of five, and a victory over Luis Ortiz could provide for a life-changing financial opportunities down the line. isn't doing anything. Ortiz is the aggressor, applying the pressure. And if I'm using baseball analogy, this is a shutout in favor of Luis Ortiz. Coming up next, one of the best fighters in the world, that man from Echo Kick, Maryland, Swift Jared Hearn, who grew up working in a deli, spent the majority of his pro career living in his parents' basement, but a world champion now defending his title against Jason Wellborn, coming off of defeating at Islandi Lada for the WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World. He's a two champion. He owes the IBF and the WBA Super Welterweight crown tonight. He puts those titles on the line against Britain's own Jason Wellborn. That is coming up next from Staples Center here in Los Angeles. As we get ready for our next round, Luis King Kong Ortiz. They call him King Kong for a reason. Because of the fact, round number eight, this one's scheduled for 10. We thank our sponsor, Corona Extra. If you're 21 years and older, nothing better than watching a fight while enjoying a Corona or a Modelo. They're part of the same family. As Luis Ortiz from Cuba, 39 years of age, fighting Travis Kaufman, who's six years the junior. Hey, you okay? Do me a favor, look at me, walk that way. Come back. You okay, you wanna go? go. A laser straight left hand. If you notice, Ortiz wasn't smiling after that one. He knows that Kaufman is a tough customer and he's gotta be calculated in order to finish off the fight. A straight left by Ortiz, a right hook by Ortiz. Ortiz mixing up, varying his attack with an uppercut, but back comes Kaufman. Told you Kaufman comes from Rennie, Pennsylvania. That isn't the easiest neighborhood to grow up at in America, so you know he's tough, and he has boxing skill. The question is, it, there's levels to this game. Luis Ortiz is world class. Could very well have been a world champion had Deontay Wilder not had 10 or 15 more seconds, or had he had 10 or 15 more seconds. Ortiz is the goods, and now he's going boxing. Kaufman is starting to dwindle. His stamina, you're seeing, is lessening. He turned his back momentarily. Luis Ortiz looks like he could fight another 10 rounds at this pace. He even stated at 39 years of age, he goes, if I feel good enough, I could fight for another 10 years. Maybe if I'm 50, I'll still keep fighting. Right hook, that connected by Luis Ortiz. Kaufman has been on the canvas, not once, but twice here in the fight. But again, we talk about the toughness, we talk about the durability, 
of Travis Coffin, and that's certainly playing a part in this fight. But from a overall boxing standpoint, Travis Coffin is being outclassed inside that ring. Now Coffin is sort of crouching down, trying to give Ortiz different angles to look at. Another straight left hand. Who knows one of those? Another one, and that could very well be over. What an uppercut. Coffin ran right into it. They say the punches that are the most dangerous are those in which you don't see coming. Coffin didn't see that uppercut, absorbed it well. And that's the end of the eighth. Let's take a look at the knockdown. There's that straight line. Boom! Right on the temple, putting him on the seat of his pants. Coffin will take a look at it again. The jab and then boom, right there on the jaw. Coffin crashing to the canvas. He even looked up at the lights. Let's take a look, and here's the uppercut that Travis nice. Kaufman ran into. There you see, nice. bang, right there. Kaufman landed a right hand. Go. Round nine, this one's scheduled for 10. The winner of this fight likely puts them in line to potentially fight the winner of Wilder or Fury, depending on how the politics of boxing go. Ortiz using his jab. Another straight left. Sledgehammer of a left hand for Luis Ortiz. Now a right hook that connected. But Travis Coffin is extremely tough. He's got a heck of a chin, but right now he is fighting a guy who is possessed, who is determined, and who just has a lot more ability, at least boxing ability, than what he does. There's a left hand to the body to Travis Kaufman, another one, and that's low. Oh, that's low again. The second low blow, and Kaufman crumpling over. All right, buddy, we got some time here. Hey, what happens? Hey, slow down, slow Hey, slow down, stay right here. You got five minutes. Take your time. Stay here for me, all right? Bitch, please. Second one, man, right? All right, just got to keep it up for me, all right? Stay right here. All right. Tom Taylor warning Luis Ortiz time, again. Take some breath. Take some deep breaths. You good? You sure? All right, Luis, is okay, up, right? so action time has in. once again restarted. Just over the midway mark of the ninth round. Luis Ortiz and Travis Kaufman double it up on the jab. Is Ortiz, Ortiz mixing in the right hook. Straight left, now going downstairs to the body. Look at Luis Ortiz. They say he's 39, but he looks like he's 29. And that was a slip. But Kaufman seems to be fading and fading fast. A right hook to the body by Luis Ortiz. Kaufman retreating, going backwards. Answers with a check left hook. Kaufman. Kaufman wrote and was pretty out of it, chastising Luis Ortiz, and I know that that's all a part of gamesmanship, but one would think that you should not upset King Kong, because in that ring, it is what they call truth serum. You have to answer for what you said, 
And Kaufman so far is absorbing a ton of punishment in the fight. Another straight left hand. Kaufman's activity level has lessened considerably. Watch those heads, guys. Watch Final heads. moments of this ninth round. Listen for that bell. Listen for that bell. A straight left that connected, bouncing off the skull of Kaufman. Hi, right there. We're nine rounds in, one more. Let's take a look at the low blow as we zero in from our fantastic crew. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that was on the belt line. So that was on the belt line that we saw. It was low, technically it was low. But it was nowhere near as south as the first one was. It's on the belt line, it was low. But it was nowhere near what the first infraction was. Taking a look at it, here's the slip. We'll take a look, and they both are on each other. So that, I mean, I'm surprised that didn't happen more in the fight, because that was a slip. Travis Kopp and Luis Ortiz fighting. This is the 10th and final round, likely this one. Unless Ortiz is able to finish off Kopp and here in the 10th, will go the distance. Don't forget, use a hashtag on social media, Wilder versus Fury. Follow me at SPR Flores. Who do you think is going to win the main event? Use the hashtag Wilder versus Fury. Give me your thoughts on at SPR Flores on social media. Luis Ortiz, Travis Kaufman, round number 10. Kaufman needs a miracle to pull this one out. Ortiz simply can just keep doing what he's doing and will cruise to a decision. A big trailer. Down goes Kaufman for the third time in the fight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I know you're all right. You're all right. Chan, the tenth and final round. Ortiz pumping out his jab. <laughs> As we are approaching the halfway mark of the tenth and final round. Ortiz boxing well. He's having fun in there, mixing up his attack going to the body of Travis Kaufman. Travis Kaufman led by trainers Nazim Richardson and also that is a big shot by Ortiz. Reigning supreme here in Los Angeles. That is how you close the show if you are Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz is a bad man. Get the gloves off, baby. Luis Ortiz. With a 10th round stoppage and nice sign of respect between the two. Luis Ortiz. At 39 years of age, he's proving that age is but a number. There is Mauricio Suleiman, president of the WBC. You know that he would love to see a potential rematch with Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz. Let's take a look at how the fight unfolded. 
As Kaufman went down to the canvas, that was the third time he had been down. And let's take a look at another angle to it. As Kaufman was trying to fire, but boom, right there on the temple. Down went Kaufman, it messed with his equilibrium is what happened. And Ortiz hit Kaufman in the right spot. Third time he had been down on the canvas here in this matchup. And here is how the fight ended. Look at that bang. Look at Travis Kaufman's eyes. His eyes sort of went upwards. He knew he was hurt and then Ortiz picking it up, hammering away and what a finisher in Luis Ortiz. That's a closer. That's a closer. He reminds me of and I mean I know we've been going with the baseball theme but that was Mariano Rivera good being a closer. That is how you finish off a fight. Luis Ortiz victorious here tonight at Staples Center. So Luis Ortiz is victorious here tonight at Staples Center over Travis Kaufman. That was a one-sided demolition. And let's send it up to ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 58 seconds in round number 10. Our referee in charge, Thomas Taylor, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, Luis King Kong.